Hello, sports fans and Stratomatic baseball fans. I'm here today with another Stratomatic baseball card and dice game for your enjoyment. Today, this is not, I, this is Monday, but it isn't Mismatch Monday. This is two evenly matched teams. The 1976 Cleveland Indians, who were 76 and 86, will be visiting the 1976 California Angels, who were 81 and 78 in 1976. And your pitching matchup for today is going to be Pat Dobson for the visiting Indians and the very famous Hall of Fame pitcher Nolan Ryan for the California Angels. So uh, we will start with the uh, lineup for the Cleveland Indians and we will get to California's lineup when California comes up to, to the plate. Uh, Rick Manning will lead off and play center field for the Indians. The second batter is going to be Joe Liss, who did not have a lot of at-bats in 1976. He was a part-time player, but he will be playing this game to try to get on against the great Nolan Ryan. Rico Cardi will be the third batter, and he's the DH today. In the cleanup spot will be right left fielder George Hendrick. Batting fifth will be the catcher, Ray Fossey. Batting sixth will be the third baseman, Buddy Bell. Uh, then Larvell Blanks, the shortstop. And then in the eighth spot, we were going to have, uh, let's see, Charlie Spikes. Charlie Spikes will be the right fielder, followed in the ninth spot by second baseman, Dwayne Kuyper. So with all of that out of the way, let's get on with the uh, first batter, and that's Rick Manning, who comes in to face Nolan Ryan, and that is a 5-7. He is a lefty, and that is going to be a strikeout. You're going to see a lot of strikeouts today, particularly by Nolan Ryan. And uh, that was one away. Joe Liss, here he is, Mr. On Base, 5-9, though, and he is going to strike out. So that is two quick strikeouts for Noli and Rico Cardi is going to be the third batter and he gets a 2-9 and a 2-9 against a righty is going to be a ground ball to short. So he goes out 6-3 to three and the Indians go down very quickly which brings up the California Angels. And uh, they will, their lineup will be uh, Jerry Remy leading off and playing second base. Bobby Bonds will bat second and he's playing center field. Bruce Bakhti in the third spot will be the first baseman. Then Bob Jones will be the DH. Again, he is a part time player here specifically to try to help beat Pat Dobson. Uh, then I think it's Orlando, is it Orlando? Orlando Alvarez will be the left fielder. And again, he is a part-time player. He has nothing on his card except two automatic home runs and a partial home run. Dave Collins will bat in the sixth spot and be the right fielder. Uh, Mario Guerrero, I think that is, is going to be the shortstop, followed by Andy Echebarren in the eighth spot playing catcher and Dave Chalk the uh, great defensive third baseman, at least in 1976, will be the ninth batter. And here is Jerry Remy. He gets a 6-12, and um, that's going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. And the first baseman for the Angels is a 4-E-11. And that is a 4. That's probably going to be a base hit. Just going to take a wild guess on that one. And it is, it's actually a double. So Jerry Remy leads off ripping one down the line and getting a double out of it. And that is a hit allowed by Dobson. First hit allowed of the game by either pitcher. 
Bobby Bonds is up. He gets a 1-9. And against a righty, that is going to be a strikeout. So Bobby Bonds strikes out. Bruce Bakhti is up. One down. Man at second. He gets a 111, and that is going to be a ground ball C to the first baseman. So that's two down. And we got a man 90 feet away with Bob Jones up. And Bob Jones gets a 6 7, and 6 7 is going to be a ground ball second base X. The second baseman. It is a 2E12, that's a 17, probably going to be an out, and it is. And so they do get out of the inning. Bob Jones going 4-3, to three, no runs for California. We go to the top of the second. And uh, that's where we're going to meet George Hendrick at the plate, batting against Nolan Ryan, the, en the unenviable job of trying to get on against Ryan. He gets a 6-6, six, six, and he is a right-handed batter, and that is a walk. So Hendrick works his way on with a walk. And you're also going to see a lot of walks from Ryan, because this was back in his really wild stage. Ray Fossey is the batter. He gets a 3-8, and that's going to be a ground ball third base double play. So that's a 5-4-3 double play, and Buddy Bell is the batter. And he gets a 4-11, right-handed batter, and that is going to be a single. So, And I should note that the uh, we are in Anaheim, California, and the conditions in Anaheim, singles are 1-4 to four for both batters and only one for home runs for both batters. So um, he got, yes, Bell got on board with a single and that brings up Larvell Blanks. And he gets a 2-8, which is a fly ball to right field. F9 ends it for Cleveland. We go to the bottom of the second, still in a nothing-nothing game. Orlando Alvarez gets a 4-11. He is a righty, and that is going to be a uh, fly ball left field. So that is an F7. Dave Collins is the batter, the speedy Dave Collins. Uh, 311, and he gets a, that is going to be a an out. That is going to be a line out to the second baseman. And Mario Guerrero is up. And he gets a 2-8, which is going to be a round ball to the shortstop. So that's a 6-3. And no runs come across. Again, we still have a tie game going to the top of the third inning. And Charlie Spikes batting for the Indians. He gets a 3-6, and that is going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. 5-3, to three, there's one away, and Dwayne Kuyper up. He gets a 3-6, and that is going to be a single. That's going to be a single. He just misses a triple, but he does get a base hit, and that's the first hit allowed by Ryan. He did walk a guy, though, also. There's one down, and Rick Manning gets a 5-5, five, five, and he is a lefty, and that's going to be a strikeout, and again, you're going to see those. And in fact, that's the second time Ryan has struck Manning out with three strikeouts total on the day for him. There's two down, and Joe Liss is up, and he gets a 5-10, and a 5-10 is going to be a fly ball to right field. So he gets the old F9, and we go to the bottom of the third with no score here. Andy Etchebarren is the batter. He gets a 111, 
against a righty that is going to be an out. That is a line out to second base. Dave Chalk is up. Dave Chalk gets a 5-3. He is a righty. And uh, that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. And he is a three defensively. That is a 15. Let's see what that is. That's going to be on his E rating. And he is an E20. So we're going to roll the two dice. And that is a 10. Um, E20 and a roll of 10 is a ground ball A. So chalk is out one to three. And that takes us back to the top of the lineup and Jerry Remy, who would go on later to play for the Red Sox. And he gets a 4-6, and he is a lefty, and that's going to be a single. Or wait a minute, that was... Yes, yeah, that was Remy, yeah. And Bobby Bonds is up with a man aboard and two down. And he gets a 6-8. He is a righty. And that's going to be a double. And it's a two, two, thing, a two asterisk double. So the way I'm reading that is that, um, oh, is that Remy has to stop at third. And Bruce, ba Bruce Bakhti is up with two down, runners at second and third. And he gets a 5-7. He is a lefty. And that is going to be a single to right field. And they can send the, the uh, man on second. And that is Bonds. And you got to believe Bonds has the running ability to get that done. It is a 1-17. And uh, the right fielder's arm for Cleveland is a negative two, so that would be a one, two. In fact, there's two outs. So, um, I think, I think you add one to the runner's rating because he would have been going anyway. So it's uh, going to be a one to eight, a one to, a one to 16 trying to score and he makes. It doesn't matter. It's a two. So. He would have made it no matter what. So that knocks in two run. That single by Bakhti knocks in two runs for the Angels. And uh, that is a hit and uh, two earned runs. And um, let's see. And that's the, I think that's the third hit Dobson has allowed. Yeah. And that brings up Bob Jones. Bob Joe owns, and he's a lefty, and that's going to be a fly ball to left field, and he is out. But the Angels strike for two. They were the slightly better team by about three games in 1976. And Rico Cardi is the batter against Nolan Ryan. He gets a 4-4. Four, four. He is a righty. That is going to be a ground ball shortstop. The shortstop for the Angels is a 4-E-52, and that is an 18 and a 4 at shortstop, and he might actually have made the play as bad as he is. And he did. So he goes 6-3. And George Hendrick is the batter. 5-7. Five, 5-7 seven. Five, seven is going to be a strikeout. It's right. The whole middle of the five column for anybody is a strikeout on Nolan Ryan's card. And that brings up Ray Fossey. And Ray Fossey gets a 4-10, which is also a strikeout on both sides or either side or however you want to say it. And so Nolan Ryan gets himself two more strikeouts and has, I believe, five on the day. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. 
So no runs for the uh, Indians in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth with the Angels leading here 2-0 and Orlando Alvarez getting a 2-3 and that's going to be a foul out to third base. Dave Collins is the batter. He gets a 5-3 and he is going to be batting left and that is going to be a ground ball to the pitcher and uh, he is a three that is a four so let's see four and nope it's going to be on his e rating and that's he's uh he is an e20 that's a 12 so let's see what that is and that's a ground ball a so that he goes one to three and that is the second out of the inning and that brings up Mario Guerrero, who would later go on, I think, to play for the A's. 2-5 uh, is a ground ball third base. So he is out 5-3. to three. California does no further damage in the fourth. We go to the top of the fifth. And Buddy Bell, very good third baseman. Gets a 1-7 against a righty, and that is going to be a fly ball center field. That brings up Larvel Blanks. He gets a 1-5, and that's going to be a single. Larvel Blanks with a hit. That's the second hit allowed by Ryan. Charlie Spikes is up. He gets a 4-9. He is a righty. That's a strikeout. And that is strikeout number six for Noe. And Dwayne Kuyper comes up. He gets a 6-8. He is a lefty. That is a strikeout. So that's strikeout number seven for Noe. And Cleveland having a tough time getting anything going here against Ryan. And they have no runs through uh, their five innings, and now we're in the bottom of the fifth. Andy Etcheberrin up for the Angels. He gets a 6-7, and uh, that is going to be a ground ball second base. The second baseman for the uh, for this for the Indians is pretty good. He's a 2-E-12. That is a 6, so let's see what that gets him. 6. And uh, two, and that is a ground ball, so it's a four to three. That brings up Dave Chalk. And he gets a 611. He is a righty. That is going to be a line out to second base. And Jerry Remy is the batter. And I, I want to point out, it is it does appear as a single on Dobson's card, but it's a, actually a ballpark single. And so uh, since we've established ballpark singles are one to four, he was out. And uh, 510 for Jerry Remy um, is going to be a an out. Line out to second base. Again, ballpark single, but not a single. Not here in California, in Anaheim Park. We go to the top of the sixth. Rick Manning is the batter. He gets a 6-3, and he is a lefty, and that is going to be a fly ball to the left fielder. The left fielder for the Angels is a 4-E25. That is a nine, so let's see what that is. That is a nine, and so that's going to be on his um, E rating. That is going to be a 12. And, uh, yeah, 25. Nine is going to be an E2. Two base error by the left fielder. Ryan can't like that very much. So uh, Manning leads off here in the sixth inning 
for the Indians by getting on by an um, E7. And Joe Liss is up. Joe Liss again. Here because he has great on base. And there it is, 3-7. Um, and that is a walk. So he does draw a walk. That's the second walk issued by Ryan. And it comes at a very bad time because the first guy got on with a double. And Rico Cardi up. All of that is bad for Ryan, although that is a ground ball shortstop A. So, runner goes to third, but there's two down. The uh, Indians would sorely love to get this run home. 90 feet away, Hendrick up, two outs. But that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. And he goes 6-3. And no further damage is done. We go to the bottom of the sixth with the uh, Angels maintaining, they're up, and they're maintaining a 2-0 lead with Bobby Bonds up. He gets a 1-2, which is going to be a ground ball second base. So he goes 4-3. to three. Bruce Bakhti is up. He gets a 4-10, and that's going to be a ground ball first base. So really, Dobson here, he's losing 2-0, but he, ha he actually has not pitched poorly at all. He's right now got two outs into the sixth inning, and he's allowed three hits and two earned runs, but he hasn't walked anyone, and Bob Jones is the batter. 4-9 for the left-handed batter is going to be a single. So Bob Jones, part-time player, in to try to... Uh, Maximize the effort against Dobson does get a single. And that is the fourth hit allowed for Dobson. And Orlando Alvarez gets a 2-6. And that is going to be a line out to third base. California gets no runs in the sixth. We're going to the last third of the game. Top of the seventh inning with the score 2-0 California. And Ray Fossey up for the Indians. He gets a 5-6, and that's going to be a strikeout. That is Dobson's, well, actually, I have not been keeping accurate track of that. One, or wait a minute, no, that's, um, yeah, that's Ryan's, actually, eighth strikeout. Buddy Bell is up. He gets a 1-3. That's going to be a pop-out to short. And Larvell Blanks is up. And he gets a 4-6. And that is going to be a walk. Larvell Blanks gets himself aboard. He's been on base two of the three times he's been up. Once was a fly out, but the other was a single, and this is a walk. And Ryan with his third walk of the game. Charlie Spikes up. He gets a 4-6, and that's going to be a walk. So Ryan getting himself into a little bit of uh, unneeded hot water here with his fourth walk of the game. And Dwayne Kuyper is the batter. And he gets a 4-5. And that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. But wait a minute. Yes, the ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for the Angels is a 4-E-52. We've established that. And that's a 3, so that's going to be something. Uh, let's see. 3 and 4 is going to be a single double asterisk. So the run scores and another guy goes to third. Um, Kuiper with, with the RBI single of the first guy that got on with the walk, and that was Blanks, and now Spikes going all the way over to third base. There is two out, though. If Ryan can get um, Rick Manning out... He'll still have the lead. It's a 5-10. 5-10. Five, 
510 for a lefty. That is going to be a fly ball center field B. He barely gets him. It was a double one, two, 15, but it was a roll of 17. And so he flies out and um, leaves the Indians hanging. But they do get a run. So now it's two to one. Very close game. Both pitchers pitching excellent. Of course, this was 1976. So pitchers can go very long into games, and I do expect both of these guys to do that. Um, and Dave Collins will be the leadoff batter in the seventh. He gets a 6-11. He would be batting left against Dobson, and that would be a line out to first to a second base. Line out four. That brings up Mario Guerrero. He gets a 5-7. That is going to be a single. Wait, wait, let's see. Yeah, that's going to be a single. Fifth hit allowed by Dobson, but still really pitching really well, actually. Andy Etcheberin up. He gets a 2-10, and that is going to be a uh, ground ball to the pitcher. And um, a ground ball pitcher B. So they get the lead runner at second. And that brings up Dave Chalk. Two down, man at first. And he gets a 6-2. And that is going to be a single to center field. They aren't going to... Uh, they're not going to tempt fate here. Um, sixth hit allowed for Dobson. And Jerry Remy up. And he gets a 1-3, and that's going to be a strikeout. So is that, let's see, that is two strikeouts in the game for Dobson. That's what I got. What do you guys got? <laughs> All right, so uh, I've got Joe Liss coming up here. Yep, for the uh, Indians. Joe Liss is batting in the top of the eighth. Indians down two to one, and they get a he gets a four eight. He's a righty. That's a strikeout. Ryan with his ninth strikeout of the game. Rico Cardi gets a 310. That is a ground ball third base A, so that's a 5 to 3. And George Hendrick is up. They're only down by a run, just one run, and that's a 5 5, and that is going to be a strikeout. And that is the 10th strikeout for Nolan Ryan here as we go to the bottom of the eighth with Bobby Bonds up. Bobby Bonds getting a 4-3. He is a righty. That is going to be a fly ball to right field. The right fielder for the Indians is um, a 3-E5. That's a 5, so let's see what that gets him. That's going to be a single. So a base hit for Bonds. That is the seventh hit allowed by Dobson. And Bruce Bakhti up. Bakhti with a key. Two run batted in uh, single uh, back in the third inning. And right here he gets a... Uh, that's going to be a single double asterisk. Yep, single double asterisk. So Bakhti has been a fire in the face of uh, Pat Dobson. Who has given up his eighth hit. And uh, there is there is an out. No, there isn't an out. There's no outs. So they're going to play the infield in. Bob Jones is up. He gets a 6-10. Lefty, and that's going to be a fly ball center field X. 
The center fielder is a 1E6. That is a 17. 17-1 is a fly ball B, but that will score the runner from third. There is one out, and that's going to be a sack fly that scores uh, Bobby Bonds. And that's the fourth run allow, or yes, the fourth run, right? Or is it only the third? It is. It's only the third run. Third run allowed for Dobson. So it's three to one. And by, and uh, Orlando Alvarez is up with one down and a man at first. That is a two three. That's going to be a foul out to first base. And that brings up Dave Collins. And he gets a one seven, and that's going to be a fly out to center. So California gets another run, and it is three to one, top of the ninth. The Indians have to have two runs right here off Ryan. Ryan is not coming out. He is famous for doing complete games. He's famous for throwing 400 pitches. He is not going anywhere. So um, Ray Fossey is the batter, and he will hit three four. That is going to be a Oh, no, he is, he's weak. Well, no, that is, it's on his card. So that is a home run, Ray Fossey. Ray Fossey's bringing him close. It's now three to two. And Ryan gives up a hit. Uh, his first earned run. And Buddy Bell is up. No outs. Three to two here. He gets a 2-9, and a 2-9 is going to be a double. So now all of a sudden Ryan has just fallen apart. Fourth hit allowed for Ryan, and Larvell Blanks is up. He gets a 3-6. Are you kidding me? It's a walk. Now all of a sudden the Indians can't even get out. And it doesn't help matters that that's the fifth walk that Ryan has issued. Charlie Spikes is the batter. He gets a 5-8. Probably going to be a strikeout, and it is. Um, so that's the 11th strikeout for Ryan. But there's only one out with two runners on, and Dwayne Kuyper the batter, and he got a key hit a little while back. But that is going to be a ground ball second base double play and that is going to end the game a four five three they made it close they got a run but they needed more than that and so the final score it here is 1976 angels three 1976 cleveland two both pitchers went the distance nolan ryan getting the win and pat dobson being saddled with the loss in a very close game. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zalke, signing off.